Hello and welcome to my video when it comes to the comparison of Unbounce versus WordPress. So this is a pretty easy comparison overall. There will be a little bit of overlap, but it, it doesn't take too much of an explanation. First and foremost, Unbounce is going to be all about landing pages. They love landing pages. They want to help you convert much higher, especially with a lot of the perks and features and functions that they have. On the other hand, WordPress is going to be, well, it can be used for a lot of things. Overall, one of the biggest reasons why you're going to want to use WordPress is is because you want a website. This is similar to the comparison of Unbounce versus Wix. Which one are you gonna use? Well, it depends on what you're looking for. In my opinion, if you just wanted landing pages and you're really focused on generating leads, making sales, or maybe other type of actions, maybe you wanna get phone calls, uh, book a reservation, get a coupon, whatever the action's going to be, I think Unbounce is going to be perfect for you in this comparison. On the other hand, if you're just looking for a website and maybe you wanna be an authority in your niche, you wanna build out a lot of pages on it, like an about page, uh, maybe you have a services page, a recommended page, and then maybe you want to do some blogging too, where you can generate organic traffic from SEO and Bing and every other search engine out there, then yes, WordPress is going to be an astonishing fit for you. I guess you could say the caveat here is going to be that WordPress can do a lot of things that Unbounce could. However, that's going to be having to involve probably a few more plugins and themes. The cool thing about WordPress is that eventually you can build landing pages if you want. You might need a few other tools, but we're not really comparing those other tools. We're just talking about WordPress in general. Now, if we talk about the costs associated with that, in terms of Unbounce, they are going to start at $90 per month. You get up to 500 conversions, 20,000 visitors, and of course, one domain. All of the plans include unlimited landing pages, Unbounce apps, and of course, unlimited pop-ups and sticky bars, which I rave about all the time. However, I do have a link down below, and if you would like to try out Unbounce with their free trial, you will get a discount if you would like to move forward. So you get 20% off your first three months, and if you go with the annual payment, you get 20% off the entire full year, which is always cool. On the other hand, when it comes to WordPress, it's really going to be much leaner and meaner, so to speak, because uh, you don't need a lot. I always talk about when it comes to setting up a website, you're going to need a hosting and a domain. Usually those go hand in hand. They come with each other. So you're looking at about, I don't know, anywhere from 40, 50 to $60 for the first year. It really depends on the hosting that you're going to go with. Of course, from there, the expenses can add on depending on what you're going to be looking to add, whether it be plugins, you know, themes, you want to get a really great premium theme for it. You want to add some more plugins and additions to it that might be premium because some of the best ones tend to be premium because they have support and they keep working years over years and so on and so forth. So overall, obviously, WordPress is going to be much cheaper. Just keep in mind, you're going to have to attach a few more things when it comes to using it. And I'm not saying that Unbounce doesn't have that too. For example, if you want to generate leads, you're probably going to need an autoresponder as as well, but that's not all too pricey. All in all, that's going to be the comparison when it comes to Unbounce versus uh, WordPress. In the long run, if you just want landing pages, you're looking for leads and sales, then Unbounce is definitely going to be your choice. I'll leave a link for you down below. And on the other hand, if you're just looking to create websites and you want to get that organic traffic, you want to start doing some blogging or you want to be an authority in your niche, WordPress definitely has your back. Just make sure you get some solid hosting along with a domain to go along with it. And that should help you get going from square one. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will leave some more links in the description in case you want some more information about Unbounce. But that's about it. Thanks again for watching and I hope this helped you out.